The East Bay community came together this afternoon to honor the life and legacy of Alameda County Supervisor Wilma Chan. She served in public office for more than 30 years before she was tragically struck and killed by a car last month. Her death has shaken the community. KTV's Christina Rendon is here with more on how this Bay Area trailblazer is being remembered. Christina. Well, Alex, this event was a celebration of Wilma Chan's life. The 72 year old dedicated her life to public service and was a staunch advocate for families, the elderly, affordable housing and health care for the uninsured. And there were warm memories of Wilma Chan under chilly gray skies at the Oakland Museum of California this afternoon. She was remembered as tenacious, compassionate, and focused on helping people in need, as well as seniors and children. Her two children described her as loving the simple pleasures, including naps and ice cream, not interested in the perks and privileges of being in public office. Even though our professional paths have been different, my mom instilled in us the same values that drove her career, putting people first in decision making listening to and learning from everyone, and acting with honesty and integrity. She really gave voice to those who are experiencing housing insecurity, food insecurity, those living in poverty. And so much of what she did was really to be sure that they were not missing at the table. Tan's colleagues on the Alameda Board of Supervisors said that they would continue her legacy of helping others, particularly in access to health care. Wilma fought to make sure that people close to home in small places would receive gov from government equal justice, equal opportunity, equal dignity without discrimination. I will miss Wilma. That's an example of Wilma Chan. She was not bashful. She was relentless. She was courageous. She had integrity. Chan spent three decades in public service, becoming the first Asian American supervisor in Alameda County in 1994. She was also the first woman and first Asian American majority leader in the state assembly. But colleagues said they were more impressed by her character and actions. And while many people, including her children, described Wilma Chan as relentless and focused, as you heard there, they also said that throughout her career, she always listened to all sides to find a common path. Reporting in the studio, Christina Rendon, KTVU. News. A wonderful tribute to Supervisor Chan. Christina, thank you.